guys, my name is Phantom Reaper, aka Nothing Cares Just Phantom Reaper, and today I'm back with another freaking video. Of course, we got a build. The first build, which is nice. I know he should be like one of the last ones, but <sighs> nice is too good. Alright, I gotta do nice. I gotta do nice. As you can tell, this is my color scheme. You guys all know my color scheme, of course. Uh, if you don't, then it's obviously uh, black, purple, and gold. Um, obviously, in Nidus, there's no metallic on him, so you, you're gonna have to go with the basic colors. And uh, this is how I colored him, if you wanna know. And the Sian Donna that I use most of the time is the Convent, the Covenant. Uh, this will cost you 105 platinum, so uh, yeah. And also, uh, where I get this gold, uh, I get the gold. It, does, it doesn't look as good in game, like right here, but it does look good. But, um, what is it called? So, for the antecedent, I actually use the Easter pack. If you don't have the Easter pack, it's all it's all okay. Um, all you have to have is the Corpus or the the Fire or Orican uh, palette, and you know they all each cost um, 75 platinum. So you know if you want that. Uh, my blacks, uh, basically, my black, grays, and white always come from smoke. My purples come from infested. Uh, the infested color pack, and then my white obviously goes to smoke and stuff like that. So, you know, that's pretty much how, how I get it. And also, it's only right now available in the the vault, the prime vault uh, mag. This is only for mag. These, um, if you want to copy my night, is completely. These attachments only come from mag, and they're called the, ta the tag the Targus Prime. Um, they're basically the Targus Prime set. And uh, this is how you color it, if you want to color it like how I did. And this is how I basically colored it, so... You know, anyways, so continuing on with Nidus. Of course, look at that Sabar. The Sabar looks sick. Okay, but <laughs> my Nidus build is mostly, it's not really complete, as you can see. It's just, um, I guess, it's still in development. But uh, actually, wait a second. My strength is on 145. How is it on 145? Well, if the strength's 145, oh yeah, I can still charge. Boom! Hey! Okay. All right, so. Yep, this is a strength build. <laughs> I changed my mind. It's a strength build. Let me switch that because I'll give it more capacity. It is a, you know, a strength build. And, you know, once I have an Exodus adapter, obviously your boy is going to put that power drift up there and put an easy. Oh, you thought I was going to put Fleeting Expertise? Oh, you thought I was going to put con uh, Continuity? But I'm going to form a level that it is because none of this fits. <laughs> oh, Fleeting Expertise nor Constitution fits. Uh, I think Constitution might not be the answer. But, you know, whatever. Uh, so, that's my build if you want to copy it. Uh, Steel Charge. If you want to know how do you get Steel Charge, Steel Charge is only by alert. So, you know, be careful by those alerts and you'll, you'll get it. So, that's pretty much my Nidus build. And since I am now matching rank 9, I believe the enemies can be in 75. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Uh, let's get some energy. And we shall put a bomber. Is there a box? Oh, yeah, there is. Boom, 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 boom. I do not want to die from this. So, uh, grab him, grab him, larva. Come on, big boy larva. Boom, 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 boom. Now, the only reason why it's like so weak at first is because of the stack. And uh, basically, what stacks do, they increase uh, your, your attack. Not your attack speed, but they do affect your attack. So, uh, let's get this to at least. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to show you the the uh, the, the powers, but uh, no, I'll show you the powers. But the first power, basically, what it is, it is a uh, wait. Did I already do it? No, 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 no. Uh, basically, what the first power is, it basically uh, shows it. It just infested, just infested right in front of you. It's basically like frosted. It's basically like nature's uh uh. Part pyro classic flow and also frost is second ability uh but you know just way narrow and uh, a little bit thicker than nasia's uh pyro classic flow, flow and it's more narrow than um uh, uh than frost's second ability now the second ability is obviously the larva larva basically sends this little infested ball and it grabs all the enemies around it uh, depending on your stretch, uh, depending on your uh, power, ra uh, power range, it will affect it. So, you know, it will affect how long it can get. And since I have, right now, the max I can get, 
which is 140, 145, uh, you know, it's all good. And then we'll show you, I'll show you the parasitic link, parasitic link. So yeah, come on, let me take damage real quick. Let me take damage, let me take damage. Oh, uh, and also, yeah, I, I do, uh, yeah, I also do have a lot of duration to the point that I have so much, like, just imagine putting continuity here. I mean, constitution, it, it just like obliterates, like, what is this? But pretty much what it does to allies it makes both of us uh it makes both of us stronger and we can shoot the enemy much better uh you know better uh well stronger like it basically makes your weapon stronger and stuff like, like rhino's third ability i think it's rhino charge or whatever uh no no that's just it's actually his first ability but uh with an enemy how much damage you take will be inflicted on the enemy that's on pyro uh pyro uh um par parasitic link and they cast it and he kills himself because he hit me once with the freaking bombs and that did a bunch of damage so uh ravenous what it does it uh sends this up oh, i can show it up oh, once i have once the bombard once we spawn in another bombard uh what ravenous does ravenous basically spawns this whole area which is really good for defense missions spawns this whole area of just utter not death but just utter infested and these maggots uh that are spawned in by juggernauts if you don't know uh freaking super juggernauts but uh which are spawned in by juggernauts uh basically they go and attack v uh, the the enemies as you can see right there the maggots are right now trying to kill this kid yep it, it barely does damage but when it does it, it does and you do get you do continue getting stacks after this and um you can if they ever make a night as prime you know i i, I just want to see how the duration is because this this is ridiculous mine lasts for 40 minutes and if i put constitution on it will last 50 to 60 minutes so just imagine having a night as prime with Oh god, he's dancing guys, look at that, he's dancing, A. Hey. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you his passive mode, his passive ability, so let's, let's just try to die, let's try to die. Hey guys, I'm invincible, you ain't killing me, you ain't killing me, you ain't killing me, big boy, you ain't killing me. It basically takes away 15 sacks from you, but the good thing about that is that you stay alive and you can get your stacks up pretty easily so yeah so that's pretty much it for the for night is obviously and hopefully you guys enjoyed if you liked it leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll see you in the next one